Hello. Okay, so this is a tutorial for exterior lighting V-Ray using V-Ray 5 for the renderer and the 3ds Max 2018 and uh, using V-Ray uh, HDRI for lighting Okay, let's start Unang gagawin is uh, set up muna tayo ng camera Meron na tayong model Set up tayo ng camera So, ang gagamitin natin is physical camera Drop, hold, and then release Okay Check natin sa viewport natin Perspective, hanapin natin yung camera natin sa V-Ray Cam Okay, then then adjust lang natin Adjust natin yung film gate nya Oh, sorry uh, Adjust, adjust lang Adjust natin yung camera natin Normal view Punta sa oh, okay. And then uh, make sure So wala na tayong babaguhin dito sa, sa ISO and shutter speed na uh, Vertical shift, automatic vertical shift Adjust na nato eh. Okay, nakagres vertical sheet na siya. Okay. So, next is, kaset na tap na tayo ng camera. Susunod is, lighting. Pwede tayo ng lighting using V-Ray light. Okay, so i-drop natin dito. Hold and then release. Uh, sa type, under type change natin ang dome uh, dome light tignan natin dito sa ano, no, map pa sa texture no? pero lalagyan natin yan so dito sa options, invisible check mo invisible and then double click the no map look for under maps look for V-Ray bitmap so before yung mga lumang version ng 3D Max is V-Ray HDRI no? on V-Ray 5 it, uh, pinalitan nila as V-Ray bitmap so double click lang to so hanapin nyo yung HDRI nyo so ang gagawin natin um, position natin is uh, normal uh, clear sky so select ko lang yung clear sky go as HDRI then open and then mapupunta siya dun no and then click uh, M for material editor and then uh, yung texture on the V-Ray light dome hold and drag put it in the material editor then uh, click instance And then rename this one as environment or as ENV. And then this one copy to another slot. Make this as, as background. Uh, sorry. Uh, this one here as environment. Uh, sorry background okay so our light is uh, ready we go to render setup go to your uh, camera viewport and then Usually, I use 2400 for my final resolution. 
and then with the uh, aspect ratio of 1.3 On the V-ray, V-ray frame buffer or should be checked, memory frame buffer. Image filter, your filter should be cut mall room for sharp uh, output. And color mapping should be rain hard and then set to 0.25. Usually the default is 1, make it this as uh, 0.25 Okay Just uh, don't put something in your environment Remove this On the regions map, uh, your primary re engine should be regions map and then secondary is light cache Click the regions map make it as expert and then click the amplitude of fusion set this as 0 0.8 and 2, uh, 20 centimeter and then on your sub divs make this for final this is for final rendering is 50 uh, 150 by 50 and then for um, pre, uh, Preliminary initial renders make it on uh, this as 50 and then interpolation samples is the 30 But for the final I will set it to 150 and then 50 Light cache For initial render you can use 500 as the amount and then 1000 for final Okay, so Let's try to render Okay, you notice that the, there is no background uh, Because we did not put any background on the environment Okay, we cancel this uh, rendering And then on your Material editor, click M Remember that we made a, a background on the material or editor uh, using HDRI uh, Click 8 or uh, environment In here This BG HDRI Drag it there, hold and then release Put it in the environment uh, map slot And then click instance, ok so we will, you will be having a, a background on your scene So here in environment uh, Go back to your environment HDRI This mapping type should be spherical I can, you, can, you can adjust your uh, The orientation, the heading of the sun Here on the flip, uh, the horizontal rotation Since we are not using any other si uh, source of light, so we'll just rotate your sun on the horizontal rotation. I'll just put 30 amount. Uh, overall amount, just uh, put as a default. And then later on, if this uh, too much uh, lighting, you can adjust it from there. And then one important thing is on the Inverse gamma, you should put this uh, into 0.75. Okay, that is only for the environment. Okay, let's try to render again. As you notice, there is already background for the uh, scene. And then when you feel that the uh, your lighting is very burn burnout, you can uh, modify it through the uh, light mix of the V-Ray 5 
So we can see now the uh, initial render. So what we are going to do is to stop uh, the rendering and then go back to our render elements. So we will add uh, on our render elements. This is for our um, post production also and uh, initial render uh, post production on the D-Ray 5. So what do you need to to add is uh, you add the uh, extra text. This is for the you can add the uh, you can add extra text and then uh, click uh, control to select more V-Ray uh, lighting and V-Ray wire color V-Ray shadows V-Ray reflection and uh, V-Ray refraction V-Ray light mix and uh, V-Ray noise level the denoiser okay I think that's it and then uh, the noiser is sorry okay and then click OK oh. these are the render elements that we need in our post production and then initial renders to be adjusted on the V-Ray frame buffer so we try to render as you can see on the lighting of the the scene it has a decent uh, lighting now uh, as we have selected the uh, V-Ray uh, it's the RI, uh, clear sky, so that is the the effect of the HDRI on the. So from here, on your uh, upper right side, you can check the source. You check the light mix, so you can uh, modify the uh, lighting, the amount of the lighting. Okay, so here, since the here, since the regions map is not supported by that uh, regions map, we will try to uh, change the primary engine into brute force, and then render again. Okay, our render is done. Uh, as you can see, the lighting is uh, pretty nice. But uh, we need to have some contrast on the lighting. So what we are going to use is the, here on upper left, uh, right, create layer. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, on create layer, choose curves. Choose curves. And then uh, we will play on the on the upper right just right click this one the end of the curve and then 
click bezier on the end of the bezier hold it and then play on the middle part so you can have a better contrast on the lighting and for the shading down below there's a curve also right click check on the bezier get the end point and then play on the curve okay so if you think the lighting is uh, the lighting of the contrast of the lighting is uh, better so what we're going to do is to save or all the the render element elements that we installed so here click this one save all image channels to a separate files okay select that one and then create a folder in your uh, in your uh, main folder for your file save there rename that as a raw folder and then save okay save as type as targa i'm saving it as targa because targa image file creates more depth on uh, the uh, parameters in photoshop so when you edit it and then override put 2.2 and then save just uh, okay click okay hello so for the post production for the this uh, exterior lighting um, this is our uh, raw renders you uh, will get uh, get first the color or the original uh, rendering that we made so this is our final uh, image uh, with the uh, denoiser so you can see there's no not much of uh, it's a fine uh, rendering so what we're going to do is uh, duplicate this layer and then hide your original layer so you have a copy of original and then this one rename this as image copy okay so then we are going to do is to change our if you want to change our uh, background we go to select load selection on the channel select channel uh, alpha 1 and then invert then press ok and then press delete so you can remove the existing uh, background and then from our uh, collection of uh, background sky background we can uh, use this just drag one of the just drag one of the background I choose this one and then bring it uh, under the image copy and then from adjustment we can adjust also for the contrast of the lighting here of the background so for example so this is fine for me then okay just adjust the size convert this as a uh, rust uh, rasterize uh, layer so you can modify size okay so we have changed our uh, background uh, just make it a little saturation okay and then we can use our let's go back to our uh, raw renders we're now using uh, the wire color we 
we will use our wire collar we will use the uh, shadow drag it there <coughs> <coughs> Control A, select all, Control C for copy, and bring it in front of your scene, make it in front, bring it up, and then from here, you select the select the subtract, and then adjust the opacity, so you can adjust the darkness of the shadows okay you can use also levels to adjust the brightness okay you can add more as you can see the shadow is becoming dark so you have the full control of the shadow okay uh, if this is uh, fine with me control D brightness of the light control A control C and then control B to paste here on your scene the layer okay so this is our layer and then choose I think this is for okay so we can use vivid light even the linear light and then just adjust the opacity so from zero, you can see the how it becomes. Very light or burn out. You can remove the background of this uh, this one by uh, using select also, load selection, and then click invert alpha, and then delete. So you only have this controls okay. you can use different modes for this one maybe we can use hard light so you have control of the burn out of our scene okay. so now as you can see we are achieving more realistic uh, lighting okay and then and then we go back to our rendering uh, on our uh, elements you use the refraction filter so save this one save the current channel just rewrite refraction say Bastarga 2.2 you save go to our folder and then on our, our Photoshop drag the refraction Control A, Control C, then Control D on the scene. Bring it on top. So this uh, just rename this as our refraction. Uh, on the mode layer, select uh, linear mode. Okay. As you can see, 
it changes the reflection you can change the color of your uh, glass it's either using saturation you can uh, put more green on it okay. change the color Okay. By this procedure, you can change the the color of your glass and also the brightness of your just uh, play on the levels contrast. Okay. This is the procedure for our post-production with the HDRI lighting exterior. <laughs>